Hi everyone, this is Robin, and guess what I'm doing today? So, um, if you follow me on Instagram, you know exactly what I'm going to reveal today. Um, and I'm so, so, so excited um, to share this with you guys. So, it's not an unboxing because I did get it, did I get it on Tuesday? And, um, of course, I couldn't wait to open it. So sorry, I had to open it. Um, and just look at it and inspect it before. So I wanted to bring this bag because I don't think there are any other reviews on YouTube. Um, so I know that after I posted on Instagram, some of you perhaps know about it or have seen it on the website. And this will be just give you a good chance to um, see it in person. So it, it of course came in this big box and I've already taken off the leather cord and everything and um, it came in this this type box and I don't think I've ever received this type box before I mean I, I guess because it's a tall bag but um, it's a nice box it have, has these little rivets on each um, end it has Louis Vuitton on the this is the back I guess the back and the front and it has also those rivets all the way around on the corners so it's a really nice box okay and of course it came you know taped so the much anticipated arrival of this beauty so, I did ask uh, my essay for a drawstring bag because these, especially when you have these top handle bags, these bags, I mean, look at that, they don't really work as well. Even if I were to, you know, like, look at that. See how sloppy that looks? So they didn't have any, but I think um, she said that she could send me one when they got them in. But yeah, this, um, these, I know you guys don't care about the bag, but I'm just showing you the how. You know, it's a it's a big enough bag to fit it in, but it just looks sloppy to me. <laughs> I mean, this is probably best it's gonna. Anyway, here's the dust bag, and it also has a little tag on the back to show what it is. <sighs> Sorry, my work email is dinging over there. Um, and here she is absolutely beautiful in all her glory. This is the Louis Vuitton kimono handbag. And this one is in the mix of the canvas and the black pebbled leather. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, the handle is all leather, as you can see here. It fits into these um, little leather tabs. It has the gold tone V here on the front but not on the back, it's just plain in the back. And, um, did I say it had Louis Vuitton Paris here? And it is actually absolutely exquisite. The construction is beautiful, how the, the leather and the canvas is cut here on the bias um, in the front and the back. I think that this bag is pricier because of the construction and the um, level of detail and also the workmanship and the precision that is required to make this bag. If you can look here, you can see the beautiful stitching all the way around. On the side, it has this little, um, sort of like the, I don't know, a little button indention detail. This is just another detail. It doesn't open or anything, but it's just another detail on the bag. Here, it has these little um, pleats here on the ends. And if you look closely, you can see here that it's trimmed in this is like a, a different leather. It's not the soft pebble. This is like a really firm, um, almost like a, um, I don't even know what kind of leather it would be. Just, but it's sturdy. I was gonna say like more feeling like the epi leather, but it's, cause it's firmer. And of course that detail is just beautiful. It has four feet. And what's nice about it is if you look, the whole leather piece 
it goes all the way under the bottom. So they didn't, you know, obviously make it on a bias underneath. That's just all leather and it has feet. So the nice thing about this fabric is it's a bit structured because it has this extra seaming on the bottom. So when you actually sit it down, it's going to sit on the feet and not the bottom of the bag. So that's really nice. Inside the bag is um, all like this suede leather inside. It also has this little clip here so that you can clip it closed. It's kind of like, you know, like the, in the Neverfull. So here, and it has um, a zipper compartment. And the zipper compartment is uh, flexible. It's not, it does not go all the way to the bottom of the bag. It's, it's like free, it's a freestanding, if, if that even makes sense, um, pocket. But the pocket also has two, um, two pockets here on the side so you can put your cell phone or, you know, just to add extra organization. And it has the nice large zip in the middle, also for organization. Um, the inside detail is beautiful as well. The construction of where the leather is stitched and the inside is, is beautiful. It's a very lightweight bag, so it's, um, it's not heavy at all. And it does go comfortably, let's see if I can show you this. It does fit comfortably over under your shoulder, so you have enough um, clearance here so that it's not right up under your arm. It's really comfortably. It has a thinner, you know, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Profile here. It's not one of those bulky bags like another of the Louis Vuitton bags I tried on, you know, it doesn't, this fits comfortably on your arm when your arm is down. It's not one of those bags you have to like kick to the back. This is very comfortable. It has, like I said, the slim silhouette or profile here. Also, it's beautiful and comfortable to hold on your arm. So that's really nice. Um, I, just, I mean, the bag is beautiful. Like I said, I understand that the price is a bit high considering it's not full leather, but it does have a substantial amount of leather on it. Um, like I said, all the way across the bottom and that really nice leather detail that's on the edges. I'm just going to put it up close so that you can see what I'm talking about here. It's really nice. It goes all the way around the bag. You can look on the side. It's just really beautiful. Just a really up close look at this bag. It's absolutely gorgeous and you of course can see the Louis Vuitton made in Paris. And again, the side construction, this really nice detail there and the pleating on the side is absolutely beautiful. This is a to me, a just very classy bag. It, um, I was considering, contemplating between the red and the black because I have so much black, so many black handbags. I did not want another black handbag, actually. Um, I'm trying to get rid of, I need to diversify my handbag, handbags and not have all black. But when I was looking at the red one, I was thinking, okay, this is beautiful. But when she brought this one out, I was just like, that is just gorgeous. Don't get me wrong, the red is absolutely gorgeous as well, but something about this one just, um, I don't know, it just, after I saw that, this one I was like, done. It's the black. Have to have the black. So I cannot say enough about this bag. It is absolutely beautiful. Um, like I said, the construction is amazing, and um, yeah, I hope I did it justice in showing it. Again, I want to talk just briefly about the inside, how roomy it is. Um, you know, it has the two sides on it that, you know, gives you plenty of space to put things in. And it has this middle flap with the two pockets on the side of the flap, which also give you, gives you um, other organization. But um, 
and you wouldn't have to worry about you know this inside getting dirty or anything like that because it's uh, it's like that suede leather so you should be able to kind of like brush it or um, and it's dark brown by the way I think it looks dark brown and let's see so this bag is made in France it has the tag in the inside which I'm not gonna be able I don't think show you but I will try so right here on this little tab it says Louis Vuitton made in France so hey a bag made in France guys that we purchase in the US so um yeah I hope you enjoy this brief review on this handbag again this is the Louis Vuitton kimono handbag in the black again it comes in the black red and then it comes in like a I want to say a purplish like you know that deep plum color I did not see the, the uh, plum in person I just saw the black and the red both are just amazing beautiful pieces so um, yeah if you get a chance I know that this bag is in high demand and I do the manager told me um, at the Louis Vuitton that because of the um, I guess the workmanship that's required and the level of detail for this bag. Uh, he's not sure how many of these will be made or is this going to become, you know, like a regular part of the um, Louis Vuitton family or will it just be, you know, an exclusive piece. It sounds like it could perhaps be an exclusive piece because it is very um, intricate and very difficult to make. So we'll see. So anyway, Here's the bag, and it's beautiful, it's, it's uh, classic, it can be dressed up, it can be dressed down. So the beautiful Louis Vuitton kimono bag. Hope you enjoyed it. Talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.